started. Uh, two dog man. How's he doing? Let's try uh, D4, I guess. See what we get. Gonna play D4 again, huh? Okay, Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit declined a classical line. Just putting the pawn on e6, defending the center. Knight to c3. So bishop to g5 is one way to play it. And <clears throat> it's a system I'm trying to learn rather than uh, the automatic uh, e3 that I like to play. <laughs> Just I like to defend the c pawn. And uh, we transpose into a position that is probably quite... It's been played many times. Okay, so a6. The idea with a6 is to uh, take here and maybe hold on to it with uh, b5, but that's not happening here because I'm taking back. I mean, that's one idea with a6. Another idea is to uh, keep my knight out of this square. I still think it's time to develop this bishop. If he takes, I'll take back and it wastes the tempo, but <clears throat> got to develop that bishop sometime. I could have delayed another moment, I guess, by playing queen c2 first, but I don't know, sometimes you want the bishop on c2 and the queen on d3 to threaten checkmate here. <laughs> A simple plan. Okay, he kicks the bishop. Now, the question is, is this bishop going to find anything useful to do outside the pawn chain here, or should I just trade it? I think I will trade. And then castle. So black has the bishop pair, but I have a little more space here. And uh, I should be okay. I can immediately uh, push on in the center. I would have castled, and uh, I'm hitting his uh, bishop here, which he probably does not want to give up. So this uh, yeah, causes black to waste a little bit of time. So let's see, should I do bishop c2 and queen d3? Just, uh, or a more normal move might be rook c1, just developing. Queen d2 connecting the rooks. His next move is probably going to be knight f6. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put the rook on the e file. Knight of six, I can trade and play knight here. Okay, he's not doing that. Oh, okay, he's going to develop his. Um, he's going to develop his uh, bishop here. So let's do this. Uh, <laughs> Queen d three and bishop c two. So just knight here, check. Uh, oh, but then he takes with the knight and defends. So I need to. I need to find a good move with the knight. Okay, but it did provoke. Um, it provoked something from uh, white here. It provoked this uh, black. It provoked this kind of weakening move. Now he's got this backwards. Um, he's got a backwards e pawn. My knight's defended here against his bishop. And it's defended twice by the queen and the knight. And also we can hop to uh, e5. Looks like a good square for that knight. Knight to e5 from there. It's looking at this hole on g6 and also on f7. And he immediately needs to uh, do something to defend that pawn. Yeah, so he brought the rook in. Let's see. So knight e5 now. He can probably just take. I take back. I want to do something to prepare this a little bit. I don't see any uh, immediate way to take advantage of his um, <clears throat> of his rook there on f3. But maybe if I line up on the um, d file here, I can push on with uh, d5. Yeah, d5 is possible. d5, pawn takes, pawn takes. My queen's defending. He's attacking with the bishop, but the knight is blocking his queen, so it's not immediately lost. 
and he gets his queen off the d-file. <laughs> but that places his queen on the uh, e-file opposite this guy. Let's see, if I play d5 and he plays e5, what do I do then? I can take it. Okay, I think that might be a good move. This knight is all like kind of funny piece in my position, the knight on d2, interfering with the queen on the rook there. But I'm hoping he can jump into the game. Oh, that's, that's true. I gave up the c5 square. So he attacks the queen. And uh, other squares are covered. Let's just uh, move the queen to the side and take a look at this um, e6 pawn again. I see, that gives up... Uh, no, it doesn't. There's kind of a pin here. Yeah, I don't think he can do that because the queen and the uh, rook are lined up on the bishop, right? Unless there's a tactic here. Seems like that's that's uh, worth a pawn to grab a piece. Okay, so his queen runs away, and ah, um, oh, this is nice technical trick. He's pinning my uh, pawn here, so the knight is not defended by the pawn, but it's still defended by the other knight here. He's maybe hoping to trap my queen. Let's see. So let's um, start by dropping my queen back here. And uh, I can take here, I think, with the knight because the queen's not defending here. So bishop takes, queen takes. If he harasses my queen, I can take with check. So I think this is okay. I also have knight to um, <clears throat> knight to d5, knight to e5 hitting his queen. So I think uh, I've managed to <laughs> work my way out of uh, any troubles I may have gotten into. Sometimes that happens. Right? You're winning material but uh, your pieces get uncoordinated to accomplish that so you have to unwind somehow. Yeah, he's piling up on the D, on the uh, F file behind the F pawn. So what would be good here? How about if I kick the knight? Where is that going? If I go to any of these squares, I will trade it off. Oh, I see. Maybe the knight's coming here, and when I trade it off, he opens up the uh, he opens up this file. So I actually don't want to encourage the knight to go there. I would rather keep it out of that square. How about <clears throat> knight here? It, it kicks the queen and defends this knight another time and uh, prevents him for one moment at least playing the uh, <clears throat> knight to e4 move. I think he's planning. And maybe the queen, yeah, I think this maybe gets rid of the pin. The queen can't stay on the um, g file here. That's covered by the knight, that's covered by the knight. Other knight, that's covered by the knight, that's covered by pawns. Yeah, so he goes over to the f file. Still keeps pressure on f3. I mean, he goes over to the h file, keeping pressure on f3. And... Um, I wonder. You know, if I play my bishop here with the check, check let's see if he wants to um, trade. Knight takes bishop, queen takes check. Yeah, he didn't. But if he doesn't trade, then I can put the knight here with check and give up two pieces for a rook. That's not necessarily a good deal. <clears throat> okay. Let's... Uh, lift my rook. I'm threatening rook to um, h4, trapping the queen. Or nearly so. Nearly trapping the queen. And 
now we can play knight to uh, knight to e4. Okay, he goes for the exchange first. Okay. Queen can get back to the g-file now. <clears throat> yeah, so the knight t4 is played in this moment. That's not a bad move, really. Let's see. So if I played bishop to c2, and I took his knight, and he took back with the pawn, and I took, say, with the rook. He takes here. Pawn takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes. Yeah, he's got too much force on that guy. So it is a problem. So I can't really take his knight. Hmm, but I can... Um, I think I can leave his knight there. And now I'm covering a couple more squares with the knight again. Maybe I'll play f <clears throat> f3, pawn to f3, and kick that knight that way. Yeah, if I were to give up two pieces for a rook, then I would still be up the exchange. I would have two rooks, and he would have a rook and a knight. Um, but he would have an extra pawn as compensation for the exchange. So that's not at all clear. So I'm probably not going to do that. Maybe queen, f3, trading queens. That would certainly help my cause. He doesn't have to trade though, does he? Okay, he wants to trade rooks. That would help my cause too. So rook takes, pawn takes, hitting my knight. Queen f3, hitting his queen, which is undefended. Queen moves, and then I save the knight. I could play knight here, check right away. No, still can't. <laughs> <clears throat> see if he takes he might take with a knight rather than the pawn anyway taking with the pawn kind of uh, well gives him another isolated pawn but it keeps this knight on a good square okay so I'm thinking queen f3 queen takes knight takes and uh, I'm still a piece up and I'm looking in good shape queen f3 and the queen moves away go to one of these dark squares here. Um, but then I can um, put a knight somewhere, maybe a knight to um, maybe knight to g6 if he moves his queen to uh, this square. And if he moves his queen to this square, I can play knight f7. So that would win uh, the exchange. And I'd be up, up a whole rook. That should be good for me. Let's see. Uh, you know, he's got this pesky move here. Okay, so he went to that square. So what I was thinking is knight f7 check. Rook takes. Bishop takes. And then it's his turn. Um, and I don't think I'm getting mated, so let's let's play that. Check. I'll be up uh, a rook, because I'll have a bishop for his knight, and I'll have a rook. And he just has a pawn to show for it. I don't think he has any move other than taking. If he doesn't take, I take his queen. 
and he can't uh, he can't move the queen. He's got to move the king or take. Maybe he's uh, calculating whether it's worth playing on from this point. Yeah, it's still a little complicated, but I should win. Yeah, he takes. Maybe he's looking for tactics in this position. That's what you got to watch out for. You calculate the up this far, then you have to wonder what's what's going on now. So he's hitting my rook. My back rank is weak. Let's play here. He can uh, gobble up some queenside pawns. I can take on um, f. I can take on f5 here. I'm not yet in a position to threaten mate. My pieces are not that well coordinated. He's got his knight and his queen in here looking at f2, so I have to be careful. But taking on f5 still defends f2. The rook at the moment is defended by the queen. Any knight moves, I just take the queen. So I was expecting queen takes b2. Queen takes f5. He just retreats. Okay, he defends f5. Maybe he's trying to tempt me into uh, <laughs> moving forward with the uh, rook. Okay, what should I do? And that's uh, threatened to trade off the knight. Uh, knight e2 is an annoying move, maybe. Knight e2, queen e, uh, knight d2, queen e2, I guess, is still okay. Or he can bring his knight back here. Okay, puts his queen there. I'm still just going to take. So he's got a couple of passed pawns. I have a check here. Check. And grabbing this pawn. You can push forward, but I can take it. Not opening up any lines to my king just yet, and uh, and the idea was taking with the queen is I don't want to lift the rook and leave my back rank unprotected here. I'm up a whole rook, but I can still get mated. It still can happen. Yeah, so that's not a bad idea. I mean, it's trying to open up lines, but fortunately this diagonal here is all protected. He's hitting the rook, which is defended. All right, I wanted to go to that square. That's no good. Uh, where do I want to go then? There's a check here. There's a check here. Let's go to this check. check. What I really want to do is kind of switch roles with the queen and the rook. Get the rook to the back rank and get Black the queen on resides. this diagonal. Okay, eventually I would I would uh, figure out how to win this game. So uh, interesting game. I'll upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.